Hey, what's up, guys? Austin here. If I sound a little bit nasally, just uh, bear with me because I'm trying to get through a cold at the moment. But it's been a while since I released a video, so we're going to do this, okay? And uh, as a side note, before we get started, some of you guys may have seen it, but if you haven't, I did an episode of Study the Greats on the Vic Firth channel, uh, which was a really great opportunity, and uh, I did it on a pretty cool Dave Weckl concept. So if you guys haven't seen that yet, definitely go check that out after this. But today we're going to be looking at an insanely fast crossover lick uh, from an old Dennis Chambers clinic that completely blew me away when I first saw it. So let's go take a look at what he's doing, and we'll see if we can break it down. All right, so I've been watching a lot of uh, Dennis Chambers videos recently, and for some reason in this particular clinic, he was just on fire for whatever reason. I don't know what the hell he ate for breakfast that morning, but whatever it was, it was definitely working for him. So let's uh, take a look at this clip a couple times, and we'll see what he's doing. And none of this is sped up. This is just how fast he was playing, okay? I mean, that's insane, right? He, he makes it look easy, but it's totally not. So uh, I'll go ahead and play you the transcription I have. Uh, this was tough to figure out because the audio and the video isn't that great. So this was as good as I could figure out. Even uh, my transcription buddies that I double check stuff with uh, were having some trouble, you know, seeing if this was accurate or not. But uh, I think it's pretty close. So I'll go ahead and play it for you real quick so you can hear what it sounds like to the video. All right. Okay, so I uh, isolated it down to one bar, and I'll have this uh, transcription linked in the description below if you guys want to try this out. But uh, let's go to the kit. We'll build this thing up from scratch, and we'll uh, see what we can do with it. All right, guys, so the underlying basis for this pattern really isn't technically that difficult. It's the speed and the orchestration and stuff that makes it really difficult, okay? But the underlying pattern is really just 16th note triplets with the hands, uh, just all singles, and then keeping eighth notes with the feet underneath all that, okay? So I'll demonstrate that for you from slow to fast so you can see what that is. Alright, so that's basically the pattern, you know, not terribly difficult, but uh, now we need to start orchestrating it around. So I'll start incorporating the crashes so you can see where those fall uh, in the pattern, and I'll demonstrate that for you from slow to fast, okay? Okay, so now that we got that, we need to incorporate the toms and the crossover, okay? So I'll demonstrate this at a variety of different tempos, and I'll put the uh, transcription at the bottom so you guys can follow along. Um, I won't get nearly as fast as he plays it in the solo, but I'll push it to my limit, okay? So we'll, we'll see how that goes.
right, so that's pretty much pushing my limit there. That's at about 120. He's playing at about 150, 151. So he's even 30 BPM faster than that, okay? So it's just insane how fast he can play that. But now let's uh, just see how we can apply it inside like a groove context or a solo context, you know? You can kind of just pull this thing out anywhere you want. That's what she said. Uh, but yeah, let me just uh, jam out a little bit and I'll just see where I can play this thing, okay? Alright, so those are just some preliminary ideas on how you can use it inside like a solo kind of context. So it's one of those patterns that's really flashy, it's really fast, and it looks pretty impressive, you know. So uh, it's not going to fit in a ton of contexts, but whenever you find yourself in like a drum solo slash, you know, impress people kind of situation, uh, this would be a good one to have in your arsenal, you know. So definitely give it a shot, work with it a little bit, and I think you'll find it uh, pretty useful. Okay. All right, so the last thing I just want to throw out there real quick is another variation of this uh, that you can try out that I found myself doing when I was practicing. So I'll just go ahead and demonstrate it for you from slow to fast so you can see how it is. But uh, it's a pretty, pretty cool variation. All right, guys, hopefully that gives you some uh, ideas to work with. This is a really good uh, crossover lick to have in your vocabulary, you know, especially if you don't have any yet. Uh, everyone should have at least one good crossover lick that they can pull out if they need to, right? So definitely try this one out and see how it works for you guys. And uh, as far as the voting thing goes for the next episode, I'm not going to do that because I've already decided I'm going to do another episode on Vinny, okay? Uh, there needs to be more Vinny Study the Greats videos, <laughs> all right? So, uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. <laughs>